Hi, welcome to episode 16 of Building a Custom Mandolin. For those of you who have been keeping up with the way things are going, in episode 15 you'll recall that we glued the neck in permanently. And in this episode we're going to pick back up with the next couple of things that we've done to uh, build this mandolin. Number one being that we have uh, glued the final piece of binding on the heel button around the neck joint. And we'll cover that and then we've inlaid the peg head face and we'll cover that. What I've done is uh, just taken a series of videos and some still shots and we'll run those for you to see and uh, have a little voiceover. Won't we bud? Hmm? We'll run that right now. When we glued the neck in in the previous episode, we had a temporary piece of binding around the heel button. And now we're going to install the permanent one. You can see where the slot was cut right there. And then we spread the glue and now we're wrapping it on with the piece of string. I figured this way would give us a, a lot better finished version of a, you know the heel button binding not easy to figure out which way you want to twist the string there but did get it pulled in tightened up now just to make sure that we got a really good joint we're going to take the exacto knife and on the tip and on the heel of it and just kind of smoosh all the plastic together to squeeze it together as good as possible. And there we have it all glued up. After it dries, then when we take that string off, we want to just kind of sand gently and clean up the squeezed out glue and that sort of thing. We're not trying to shape anything, just kind of level everything back to where it was supposed to be. And not only on the, on the back part, but we also have to get the heel on the neck part, the wood, you know, the wooden, the wooden stuff on the, between the wood and the binding on the neck. And when we get basically everything sanded out, we're going to have something that looks about like this. Finished, finished version. A little closer shot there. I have a couple of interchangeable jigs on my bench. One to hold the mandolin so that the back is accessible. And one to hold the mandolin so that the face is accessible. Uh, the one on the back I usually use to uh, carve the uh, neck profile and this one I use an awful lot to uh, fit the fretboards and uh, do the peg head inlay and that sort of thing, which is what we're going to do now. After we get it locked into the jig, we'll start on the peg head inlay. Simply, at, once again, just like on the sides, we're adding a piece at a time. Here's a series of shots where you can see the inlay as it progresses. Cavity for the next piece. And the next piece installed. There's a couple more pieces added on. Couple more. A few more pieces. A few more. And we're not far from being ready to put on the logo. Ratliff, the 
name. It'll go down in two pieces. Here we go. Ratliff is an R and Atliff. We're going to position everything. Once we get it right where we want it, we take the R away and inlay it in two different inlays. Gently but firmly hold it down where it won't slide all over the place and take the sharpest pencil I can sharpen, needle point, and uh, go all the way around. All the way down, right in between the letters and everything. As close to the edge of that pearl as I can. You have a penciled line. Then very carefully I will take the exacto knife and score that line. Here we go with the router and a very, very tiny sixteenth inch bit. It gets trimmed up, or the, the slot gets cut out, and then I trim it up really good. And then there's the hole ready for the pearl. And here comes the pearl. I'm just going to fit it in there. And she goes real nice and smooth. Pearl is uh, translucent and to, to actually give a better final product I like to put a little bit of black stain around the pearl and let it let the black stain uh, just soak down and get behind the pearl. It seems to make a better better finished product. Wipe that off with the rag or a shirt tail or whatever. Fill it in with super glue. There's your final product. It gets cleaned off and looks like that. And then do the same thing for the R and inlay it and uh, there you have it. Everything needs to be sanded off and we are done. So that's where we're at with this particular mandolin. We are completely done here and we've got the peg head face taken care of. In episode 17 we will probably glue the fretboard on and start taking care of all that mess and we'll try to cover all those steps in the next episode. Thank you so very much for watching and we'll hope to see you then. I can do werewolf. Lay down. Lay down. Werewolf. 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 Oh, that was sweet. So we can show you its teeth. Werewolf. Let me see your teeth. Let me see your teeth. Let's do it.